All I need for an acquittal is reasonable doubt. If the jury believes there's the possibility, a chance, that Jessica wanted me. Ben Harris is never going to admit to that. He doesn't have to. The jury will read it on his face. You want me to put Ben Harris on the stand? He knows she wants me, and it is eating him alive. Benjamin Harris is a neurosurgeon. He is trained to be cool under pressure. At best, he may betray how angry he is toward you, and the jury will take up his cause, and they will convict you. No, our best bet is to focus on the motion to dismiss. I guess Evelyn might allow it. She's only doing this to appease Jessica. And Jessica won't budge. I, I've tried. I wrote her a letter. I spoke to her daughter the other day. I stepped on an elevator, and there she was. Please tell me you did not corner the plaintiff on an elevator. I didn't touch her, Newman. I spoke to her. I, I begged her to stop this, but she's determined to punish me. Uh, honestly, I, I, think, I think our only hope is to get Ben to intercede and, and, and to have him convince her that going to trial is futile. Mrs. Griffin and Dr. Harris are at the Lakeview Lounge. Thank you. You've been having them followed? Because you want to know if and when Dr. Harris begins to doubt her. Because you've already decided that you're going to put him on the stand. You're good, Newman. You're good. <laughs> and where are you going? To see if I can push the good doctor over the edge. Don't shut me out, Jess. I'm not. I'm not. It's just that you're dealing with so much already. I mean, the whole report is at the hospital, outside your house. Don't worry about that. We will have our evening here. Everything will be all right. Just tell me what happened. When did it happen? Yesterday. Here. I was meeting Kim and Lisa. And I got on the elevator, and just before the doors closed, Marshall got on. So you were alone with Travers? For a few minutes. So did he, did he touch you? Did he threaten you? No, he just wanted to talk. He had um, just come back from the cemetery, from burying Zara, his daughter, and uh, he wanted my sympathy. <laughs> he wanted you to drop the charges? Yes. Did he intimidate you? Did, did, he, did he crowd you, raise his voice? He stopped the elevator. He trapped you in the elevator? He wanted me to listen, so I listened. Then he released the elevator and I got off and I told him I would see him in court and that was that. And what did the police say? Well, I haven't talked to Evelyn yet, but I'm supposed to meet her no, tomorrow. Jessica, you have to report this to the police. Well, if Evelyn thinks it's necessary... Ne necessary? The man is stalking you. What happens when, when he corners you in, in a parking garage and won't take no for an answer? What more does Travers have to do to prove that he is not worthy of the benefit of the doubt? He broke into your home. He trapped you in an elevator. The man needs a restraining order. No, that is not necessary. No, it is necessary to... you are. Travers is a lawyer and he is building a case and every time he crosses the line and you don't report it to the police that's just it's more proof that you don't mind. It supports his argument that you never minded. Absolutely right. Did you stop lecturing me? Am I lecturing you? I I guess I'm just happy that I'm a one woman man these days. Lucky you. I didn't mean to rain on your prey. You know what? You can't. Because I am here to have a good time, and a good time is what I'm gonna have. I get to pick one of them out. Test drive them. Maybe even rent them for the weekend. Just make sure you kick the tires before you sign the lease. It's funny. Hi. Hi. 
I was wondering. So was I. Shall we? This feels so amazingly right. Because it is so right. Who are you? You know who I am. Listen, I'm glad you decided to back out of the deal with Dusty, but that doesn't mean you have to give up the shop. You know, the, the lease is secured. With the new financial plan, you can get new backers. If not here, Chicago. You're not listening. What? It's not important. You and me. I mean, that's where I gotta put my energy. Listen, I don't want you to give up your career. I'm not. Just putting it on hold for a little bit. Why? Why? I didn't ask you to do that. All I did was question you borrowing money from Dusty. I don't expect you to... Why? To put you first? Because that's what I'm gonna do. You're my top priority. Where's all this coming from? I had a long talk with Lily, you know? She reminded me of a couple of things. Like how our wedding has been put on hold over and over again, and how I'd never forgive myself if I didn't do it right. We've been cheated out of romance over and over again, and I just want this wedding to be beautiful and special because it is. I know, I can't wait. But I'm still not letting you give up the shop. Paul! Listen, I gotta go. We'll talk about it later. Where are you going? Oh, my mother asked to meet me for a couple of drinks. Oh. Yeah, no, no. No, no, no. Think positive. Maybe she's gonna tell me she's moving to Wyoming. Hey, It's a very, very good idea. It's still a great idea. I get your message. Yeah. Sorry. Just, sorry, the time is just not going to work out. I thought you were all for it. Yeah, yeah, it's me, you know. One second I think this is something's a great idea, and the next, 180. Something that was a good idea is just not a good idea. Come on, you're lying. You want this so badly. Taste it. I can almost taste it just looking at you. 